I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what other teams do, but I just know what we do works for us. And the reason why no one can beat us is because we're too adaptive for it. A great feeling having that you years of hard work just finally pay off. I cannot let this guy down because if I don't do it, they might not get it. You know what I mean? That's our mentality. Two years ago was a winless season, and last year we went like three and three. So last year you went like three and three. So yeah. what was the biggest difference going from three or going from zero and six to three and three to now six and zero and moving on to win or move on to a mark championship? Um, uh, a lot of it has to do, I believe, with uh, you know the management or the leadership. We had somebody in charge that really wasn't getting the job done too well, and then we finally moved on to vote on another president who's really been leading us in the right direction. I was I was even more frustrated then. Um, I was angry with not the team but the leadership on the team at the time. I knew we could have done better, and uh, I wanted to change that. When we had previous people. You have people listening to input, but you can tell they're not actually giving that input actual thought, which like resolves in certain people playing positions that they shouldn't play or they are not that well enough to play, stuff like that. But once we got a change of position, no, you were right there. I was like, wait, he didn't. I knew you were gonna get back on your feet. You know, like we have Nico Desabatino, that's our captain. Then we have other people that are also in their places and stuff. Once you have all that switch, he's someone that likes to listen to you. I wanted to instill a winning tradition here, and we weren't. Um, before I got here, it wasn't really going so well. So um, I really wanted to get that tradition going and all the guys really bought into it and everybody just really clicked together and that's how everything kind of started. Good job! After going, after from my freshman year going winless to seeing where we were now, just going 6-0 and throughout the regular season, winning the playoffs and we weren't just beating teams, we were beating them bad. We were really, we were really opening a can on some of these guys. It was, it was fun, it was a lot of fun to be a part of. Everybody just really bought it. Um, from the rookies, the guys that just came out for the team, to the seniors, the guys that are graduating actually this spring. Uh, everybody really was like, all right, you know what, let's do this. We have the talent. We've all played together for two, three, four years now. So let's really buy into this. In this season, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know how good we are. I mean, we, I knew we were good um, talent-wise, but I didn't know how it was until the season played out. So the first game we, we won, Said nothing, and that's not not saying they're a bad team, but it's just you know when you win that by that large amount, that means you know something's really good, and so I was like, oh, so it set the standard and it created that standard that you know we have to win by 40 every time, um, and then we won arguing by 80. And I'm like, this is this is a this is like a national ranked team that we have here. Like the teams just don't do that out of the blue sky, um, and then that's when I, I'm like, I started thinking like, we, I think we have about Final Four team here. You know, it was it was really great to finish those regular season six and zero, and then go into you know more playoffs and then nationals. So that was fun. Everybody, you can tell everybody was in a different mindset. It was really cool to see because um, we knew the next day it was like, you know, it's what we've been working for right here. We win this game, we get the first Mark Championship. <laughs> We actually never played New York in a regular season game. So that was our first time either of us meeting. We were both 6-0. and And it was muddy, a little bit of rain, and we almost actually played in like the slower field. We were just caked with mud. Like we, no one would have been on the play. And it was just, it was a dog fight. Like we had people on both sides screaming. Like I said, it's literally raining. Like you're taking hits. You hit somebody, you fall on the ground, you, it takes you minutes to get up. You know what I mean? Like everybody's just doing the most. But like you're thinking about your head, like I cannot let this guy down. Because if I don't do it, they might not get it. You know what I mean? That's our mentality. Like. Mark game, we were down, you know, twelve nothing. We were down two tries. Uh, after they scored their second try, uh, we got a yellow card. Um, people were a little nervous and upset. I wasn't nervous. I knew what we had. All right, let's just get back to our game, and that's exactly what we did. And um, you know, I remember we're up by I think five points, and uh, one of our um, he was an all-star in the fall, and he's still an all-star right now. Uh, Mike Appleman, he, he scored the game clinching try, which, I mean, they didn't score anymore anyway, but it was the try that we, as soon as he scored that, we pretty much sealed the game. And, uh, you know, he carried a guy probably about five meters into the try zone and 
you know, the sideline went crazy, all of our fans, it was, it was a really cool thing to experience. Um, it was the first time in my life where I felt that all the hard work I'd done came to fruition. I didn't have uh, my family there at the time, my mom passed away. Once the final whistle blew, uh, I forgot about, you know, all, all the on, on upset. That feeling, not just from my standpoint, but all the older guys on the team that had to sit through those years of not winning any games. You know, back when the team wasn't really that much of a thing, that we built that, we worked for it, we got us to this point. It was just on our backs that we made it this far to uh, finally win a championship is uh, a great feeling, having that years of hard work just finally pay off.